I come into contact with a lot of young people, and I found that a lot of these people know all my movies really even better than I do. And they know all of Marty's films, and they know all of Brian De Palma's films and George Lucas's films, and, and they're getting to know all of Quentin Tarantino's th three films. And, you know, but, uh, but what's happening is they don't know much beyond that. And when I say, what are your favorite films from the old days, from the black and white days of the 30s and 40s, I, I don't get a lot of answers that, that give me comfort. And, and, I, and I'm finding that if people are going to just study the movie brats of the 1970s, you know, what they're learning is a pretty weak carbon copy because all the movie brats learn from the masters of the 40s and 50s and 30s, and, 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 and I'm sure those in the 50s and 40s learn from the silent movie ma ma masters. And so we're all handing influences down and inspiring from generation to generation. And I kind of am a little bit sad that a lot of the young people today kind of have a cutoff point for their own personal influences, and that's like they don't know a lot of pictures in the pre-60s. My kids will always ask me, is it in black and white? Because I, I always show them movies, and their big fear is, is it in black and white? And when I say it is, they don't want to see it. So, so it, what's true is the first knee-jerk reaction of my children is they don't want to see a black and white movie. But then I say, but you're going to have to. You're just going to have to. And I promise you, 10 minutes into the picture, they don't know whether it's in black and white or color, whether it's 166 or 235 aspect ratio. They're into the movie. And, and by and large, when they like the movie, when it's over, they're raving about it.